Are you smelling stuff? Yeah, let's try this right here. What? Oh, da, 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 da. You're okay. You're okay. Come down. Come down. Come down. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. You're okay. You're okay. Come here. Come here. Don't get mad at me. Don't get mad at me, okay? I know. I gotta get this thing off of you. Let's see. Come here. Come here. I know you don't know who I am. I know you don't know what's gonna happen here. I know. Let me put this on here. Let me get this off. Okay. Let me see here. Okay. Okay. Yeah. See? Here's your collar. Okay? We're gonna put that right there. Hi. Hi. Let's see to the table, my friend. I got you on this. You worried a little bit? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You're okay. You're okay. You are okay. You're okay. No, 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 no. Put in that if you're gonna box that thing up, I got a letter to put in there. Put um, on the letter, write down that purchase number.
in here. No, 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 no. Focus on that other stuff. Focus over here. Focus over here. I oh, know you don't want to do that. Calm oh, down. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. You're okay. You're okay. Let's just see what happens now. Let's check everything out.
No, 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 we're not doing that. We're not doing that. No, 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 no. No, no. Oh, <laughs> 
you so there's not the tail, so instead of brushing those out, which you may not like, the low maintenance, we're gonna just do a two guard on the tail. And then I can just cut that mud mat out and uh, nice, easy, simple. Chewing that off. No, no. So essential is going to be walking 15 to 20 minutes straight before every groom. That's going to be homework every time. Okay, we're going to go to the bath now. have him spinning around the table because it's very dangerous. So this is one of the ways that you can do that without having another body here.
for a minute while I do your nails. Try, try to do it. Try to do it here. Let me see. Can you just release some gas? Is that the deal? Did you just release some gas? Yeah. Yeah, I know. I know. Yeah, you can stand on the dog up stand if you want. Hey, 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 you're okay. You're okay. You're okay. You're okay. You're
attention here. No, no, no. No, no, no. There we go. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. I know. Don't talk to her own pet. So mom's gonna stand here, the word no, down to the table, down to the table. So at home, so um, she was telling me that you could, I don't know if you could hear, he dances the table, down. down. The word no and down, okay? And this is gonna help him, okay? Because dancing is real dangerous. He didn't try to bite or anything like that. It's just talking, which is fine, which can throw a groomer off. We might think that he's gonna lunge at any time. And I was safe the whole time, expecting it. But if you get him, on a table for me every day and you work with him no, down, down stay down stay all that good stuff and you have a treat down stay love down stay down stay good good dog lick the treat good good if you do like right now i'd be like good boy right lunging and all that every day until you see me again five minutes a day but uh do that 15 so i'm just telling mom do this homework for me five minutes a day up on the table and if you do it every day until I see you again. Five minutes is not very long, right? Five minutes, boom, boom, boom. The leash and collar have to be tight and he has to be listening, right? And this, look how he is right now, right? As soon as he's on the table, we want that. Okay, I got this. So then when he comes and I get him on the table, he'll be like, I remember this. <laughs> and you can even now bring me a sack of your treats just for bribery and I put it down over there and he can see it and he knows, you know, this is our, this is our normal routine. I get some treats later, right? And because it, it's less than what, 40 minutes? Yeah. 40 minute groom. She's in the lobby the whole time. Um, walking the pet before the groom is essential. So I told mom, walk the pet. It was rainy. I said, walk even longer. He came in, he pooped. So, right? So definitely give your animal time to poop, especially high anxiety pets. That or don't feed after 8 p.m. last night and today. No food. So it's just like going into surgery. You want your system empty. Okay. Um, Mom, you can say something if you want, but if she found me through Nextdoor app, YouTube, and then finally another groomer said, go to D go try Dee Dee. So those groomers you guys referring to other people that can handle a situation better than you, I can't say thank you enough, because then he wasn't traumatized at the last place, right? Because that groomer immediately said, we can't help you. We, we got to send you somewhere else. So if you're doing that, praise you for just saving the world for this dog, because he didn't become a biter yet, right? Uh -uh. He no. He's just twirling the table and running around. So mom said, what kind of haircut did you want? You were like, I don't care. She said, just safe, short, easy, and, and just get it done. No blow dry. Uh, drying at home. Air dry is fine, right? Yep. Yep, okay. And uh, are you happy? Yes. Yes? Uh, what was your favorite part? He didn't buy anything. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then the other thing you said was being able to stay and be a part of it yes, yeah and be able to see what was going on right and uh, no damage he seems happy right he's, he's he's not mad and yeah are you okay great well thank you for finding me i appreciate thank it you. thank you so all right you guys i'll talk to you at home there's certain dogs that do that is there something that you guys always do that he jumps in your arms is there something that goes no at home is he always wanting no, to jump in your arms have a, a two-year-old and a three-year-old so we work on no jump right so where jump. does this come from i have no idea right stop. so what we want to do is stop this right so a lot of times walking leash training which means you follow me i don't follow you okay so how you walk your dog is essential as well right behind your heel here and so 
Sometimes I always wonder, like, is it because you always go down and you pick up the dog and they always jump yeah, he up? He really doesn't like to be carried and picked up. So then where is that, where is that born no from? Idea. So what we'll do is we'll focus on that 15 minute walk before the groom, see if that starts nipping it in the butt, okay? okay? All right, I just had to Hey, thanks for watching Didi Croy with my favorite groomer on YouTube. So that was Wally and he's a Maltese. And mom went right before she was leaving. I know I had grabbed uh, different things that she was saying and it was important. Uh, but she had reminded me she had only had him for about three months. And um, when she first got Wally, he was very timid, scared, scared of everything from the dog bowl to the broom, she said, anything. He was scared of everything. So they're working past that. Um, they're just now like he's never been walked. She was like, we don't walk him. He's just now putting the collar and leash on. So I'm like, oh, well, well, there you go. Start that walking daily and that will be, make a big difference. So we'll see how it works and we'll see the next room how it turns out. I told her nail trim every four to six weeks because his quicks had grown out with the nail, meaning his nails will be long and if she waits months and months, they'll just keep growing. And I'm not gonna cut the, to the cut into the quick, I'll cut to the quick, right? So uh, two months now, two months I'll probably need to do nail trim on him, which I told her, and then three months probably do a full groom again from now, because that was a, and I try to stay quiet during that groom because it was just so much energy, his energy was just all over the place and I didn't really want to speak, you know? So his groom uh, was a seven all over down, four guard reverse teddy bear head, 10 around some of the feet and legs, it didn't matter, and sometimes even you saw the seven reverse uh, up on top of the pad, like anywhere on top of the the knuckles here anywhere I could just get it um, without having to use the scissors so much because he was using he was doing so many circles making it quite kind of dangerous gosh I can't even speak so uh, I was tweaking it and uh, he did really good as far as not right not trying to bite right but he had that energy pent up energy and I told mom he needs to be walked he needs to run walk and she did some sprints before the grooming, she said, but it wasn't enough. He walked in and the first thing he did was poop. And I had asked to her, just like another client today, Anxiety Pets gave him a reminder twice to take your dog to poop. And I was really clear, like dogs with high anxiety, especially in the rain, they want to poop on the table. They want to poop in the salon. Go poop outside. It's a, we don't want, no offense, we don't want to clean up poop. It's gross, it's nasty, it's part of the job, but we just try to avoid it. And so groomers will ask you, or sometimes we're afraid to ask you because we think you should already know, but honestly, just take your dog. If you're gonna poop, if your dog poops inside someone's house or inside someone's um, facility or Home Depot or whatever, then you gotta know to take them some extra time to poop before you walk into someone's establishment, someone's home, someone's anything, you know, outside of your home. Because what they do in your home is, is your thing. If they want, if they poop and pee, you know, they, that's your thing. You clean it up, fine. But when we're trying to do grooming and work and there's a lot going on and now you have to, you know, it's just easier if you can just go outside a little longer. So this time I said, you know, make sure you go poop. Because as soon as he pooped, I was like, there he goes, he's pooping. And so we're not in business to have you guys poop inside. We want you to poop outside if possible, please. Okay. Now, I just wanted to just touch base and let you know, you know, she's just had him three months. She rescued him. And um, we'll see how it goes. I'm really glad they found me because he had a, a very good groom. Not, no other dogs were in here. It was very stressful for him. And uh, I chose my birthday to have a, a couple of stressed out dogs to groom because I knew they needed me. So I'm really got, glad I did that. I'm really glad I opened the door to them um, because we were booked out for about a month. All right, thanks for watching. Dee Decor with my favorite room on YouTube. Uh, enjoy your day and thanks for dedicating your time. Don't forget to watch all the ads. It helps us and uh, shop with us. It helps us grow that way too. Go to myfavoritegroomer.com slash shop. If you need something, um, definitely shop with us. We want to be your supplier. We want to give you what you need for grooming. And then in the next three weeks, there is going to be hit or miss specials that start happening. And they're only going to be a 24 hour special. And I can tell you uh, the spray bottles that we sell that everyone loves, um, some products, some shampoo products, clippers, all those are going to go on sale. But you, I'm not going to tell you when. So you have got to be on myfavoritegroomer.com slash shop and you've got to look around. And it, if, you, if you're just looking around, you'll see the item. It'll say on the right top or something. It'll say on sale now. It, the sales for each item is going to be on different days and they're only going to be a 24-hour sale. So if you want a good deal on something that we don't normally do a deal on, watch every day for the next two weeks, three weeks. 
So all of May really, get on there every morning and see what sales there are, or there are because they're gonna change daily. And again, I appreciate you all, thank you, and I will talk to you later.